All right, so before we begin, um, the first part of this protocol is for us to norm the exemplar. So let's make sure that collectively we understand what we're looking for and what we um, what we consider exemplar or what we consider mastery. I'm trying to figure out how to focus. All right, so this question said, Carlos took a survey of his classmates' favorite ice cream. The results are shown in the table below. Draw a bar graph to correctly show the data that is in the table below. Be sure to write a title for your graph. So the students, um, so tell me what do you think the students were expected to do based off of these directions what were the students expected to do? Create the title and then complete the bar graph along with the question. Yeah. And be able to count the tallies as well. And be able to count the tallies. So the students were supposed to be able to count the tallies and write the number. They were supposed to correctly um, give the graph a, a title. The bar graphs data was supposed to match the data collected, the survey, and then they were supposed to um, answer the questions based off of the graph. So now, would you guys consider this exemplar? For example, of course we know that if they wrote the, um, the incorrect numbers, those are wrong. But what about the title? So the title says class favor ice cream. Were you guys accepting ice, just ice cream? Did y'all wanna see favorite ice cream? Um, I accepted ice cream because I don't think we were explicit in that way that it had to be favorite choices. Or, but as long as the title correlated to the information in the, from the survey, I gave them credit. Okay. I did too, uh, and most of my students were either ice cream or our favorite. Yes, and most of mine were ice cream and ice cream flavors. Okay, so in the title, it has to have ice cream. It can't just say favorite. Mm -hmm. It needs to say at least ice cream. Mm -hmm. Are we all on the same page with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, okay, so now that we know that the bar graph definitely has to match the information, the data. So what about the question? Were you guys expecting to see work or did that matter to you guys as long as the answer was correct? So for it to be an exemplar, I would expect an equation um, simply because they could just pull a number out of the sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we don't, we don't know why they have chosen that number Okay. Um, or having the student explain it to me. Okay. I didn't expect to see work from everybody because I knew some could do mental math and I watched them, you know, count on or use their fingers however. So some showed work and some didn't. Okay. I had a lot of students that just used the graph. Okay. Once they feel they completed the graph first, then they just used the graph. Okay. So y'all were okay with them not showing work? I was, as long as they had the right answer. Okay, but we, you were not. So, but you're not, are you, you wouldn't count it no, wrong. No, I wouldn't count it uh, wrong, but I at least need to be explanation. Okay. So, okay. If, even if they didn't physically show the work on here, me observing yes. what they were doing. Okay, okay. All right, so we know that we're gonna count it correct as long as they have the correct answer up there. All right, so now that we've taken a look at what an exemplar looks like, um, now, I would like for everybody to sort their work in three categories based off of what you know. So the three categories are mastered, approaching, and not yet. I don't know why, but my 
who was in not write the title. And I told them, I said, write the title. And so what I like, and I know everybody needs to get up moving. All the masters are gonna be on this table, approaching on this table, and not masters on the table with Mr. Kwan. Mastered on this table, approaching on that one. Yes, approaching on the green table and then um, not master where Mr. Kwan is. Mastered, approaching, not yet mastered. All right, so have we all um, had a chance to sort, um, master everything on that, all, all the three categories? Okay, so now, um, I would like for you guys, so just no more than two people at a section, um, choose an area that you would like to kind of observe and analyze and explain what patterns exist across the work samples and what differentiates. So at least um, look at the task of who mastered and did not master. Um, what separates them? So what what do you see the difference between those that mastered and did not master? So this is the master, this is the not master, that's the approaching. What are, do we see any trends? Any patterns? Both successes and struggles.
So, so here's the thing. So I don't, I'm not sure whose these are, but I wouldn't put this at not yet. He, he come through with it and left it at that. At not okay. So and never mind. Not okay. But okay. I, I think from. Is it just because he didn't complete it? Because when I'm looking at this part, he's approaching. He understands what's happening here, but not here. So you heard he's already told me he's kind of like one time. Oh, okay. that's not a that's not a six. Okay. Equation. Master, master, we, you're good to go. 
And then over here, what we were saying is there, there just needs to be a little more explicit direction because it's clear they know what to do with the tallies. Just, I just think, I mean, it's, it's just a thing of six year olds. Mm -hmm. Hey, come back and say it again. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, the question. they also know the how to do the, the questions. questions. Mm -hmm. How to answer them correctly. Yeah. Um, yeah, because some of them, like some of them don't have a title. Some of them say chocolate as the title. Well, one of them says chocolate as the title. Well, two of them say chocolate as the title. So they also need to learn, well, some of them, a majority of them need work on how to create a title, how to answer those questions. That's the main thing here because as far as the graphing piece, they know how to make the graph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the only thing I would recommend though is just explicitly stating what the expectation of it looks like because yes, we know that he probably knows how to go up, but does my bar graph only have the word at the top? Like just being explicit in those. Mm -hmm. If I'm using a bar graph, those numbers up to that number should be highlighted or colored or shaded or whatever the verbiage is that we're gonna use there. Yep, I agree. Um, any other takeaways that you guys noticed? Looks like the biggest thing is title. Okay. And I think a lot of them probably may have may write flow. Mm -hmm. Um, like they may start out and then they go on. And, and then maybe another just explicit teaching point. Yeah, just, just, just telling them, just telling them, hey, what are you gonna name your title? Can we find that word in the information that was given? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, and they are just confusing the um the equation. Yeah. And she got the equation, but I think her math was off. Uh, that's what I said. She yeah. was off one. And yeah. I'm wondering if she just forgot to put it. Six. I mean, yeah, one. Mm-hmm. Because everything else is probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. So let's um come back in say one thing from from at least um, from the approaching and the not yet mastery what is one action step that we are committed to do to help the student so from the approaching the student work would improve if the students if we explicitly taught or went back to those keywords that or and then so that way they could form their equations properly or at least the ones who for the approaching for section. Okay, so for approaching, the students' work will improve if we revisit keywords in the equation. And I then think or was um, confusing it too. Mm -hmm. It was versus yeah. and because so. historically they were using and until right. they got to this unit. Mm -hmm. So I think just being giving them the questions with and and, and mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. yeah, so that they can see even though these words are different, they mean the same operation. And so, of course, you guys know that we revisit this in mm -hmm. Unit 6. So, we, and this uh, OR question is also on there. So, we know that when we come to that section, we need to be explicit with that. Um, what about the um, not yet mastery? One thing. So, the I'm students. Over here because he was just the, it was just the bottom part. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The students' work would improve the most if the students what? work more on the work 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 more on word problems when it comes to the sorting the data. But I think these kids too also need an exemplar bar graph with a checklist. Do I have a title? Does my bar start from the bottom or start from the left and go to the right? Um, does my bar graph include totals for my um, tallies? Because they were missing all of the components. But I think really and truly that this may just been a direction error, but as far as the bar graph itself, mm -hmm. because they're different all across, like this one is starting from the top and going down. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't even have shading. Mm -hmm. um, so I think giving them an exemplar of what a bar graph looks like, this is my bar graph. Does mine that I'm creating look like this? Mm -hmm. So are we gonna focus on 
because I know we there's a lot to focus on. So there is the graphing and the questions, but which one would give these students the most bang for their buck where they are right now? That that part because that was that was mo three of the points. Okay. So at least they could have gotten, I don't know, like say if that's out of eight, they could have gotten five out of eight because we know that those questions at the bottom are going to be the harder lift. Okay. So if we can nail that on, get the tallies to match the totals and get the bar graph to match top to bottom or left to right, okay. then we, we can, they can get those points. That's an easy, easier okay. fix, in my opinion. Well, what do you guys think? I think for mine, I'm going to start back with the tallies. Mm -hmm. um, because one, I don't think they're counting tallies for it all. But then the other one, she started the wrong way. Like you said, she probably needs a checklist. This is how we start from bottom and go to the top. So I think different students in my class may need different um, accumulations or help. Okay. And then maybe even the with the tallies, that could be a quick number top. Maybe Monday and Tuesday, you give them the tallies, they write the total. Maybe Wednesday and Thursday, you give them the number, they write the tallies. I like that. So, approach. I mean, not demonstrating group. We're gonna focus on creating a bar graph. Uh, approaching group. We're gonna focus on um, the equations. Those key um, keywords. All right. So I think that was it. Because the next step was to um, restate one to two concrete action steps that you guys are committing to to do in the next week. So I think you guys have said that you're committed to making sure that your students are able to um, know what keywords are necessary to do what steps, you know, adding or subtracting, and you guys are committed to helping these um, not demonstrating babies how to make, you know, how to make a bar graph correctly. I think when a lot of my students, when it comes to the time, now that I think about it, when they were working, they were so quick to get to coloring in the graph that they just didn't be bothered with the title. Mm -hmm. I think that, because that was the first thing I seen them start doing, first to start to do the title, since that's the next. Well, we can just call those kids back over, hey, you left off the Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how I know that student with the yellow, because we did it one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So I watched him uh, yeah. with this one chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so if fun. nobody has put in, like, if you haven't put in your data yet, Miss um, Warren, go ahead and call them back and see if they can complete that. But because I don't think, you know, if it's something where you just left it off, that's not a student, you know what I'm saying? That's not a student, and you don't want to count them off for that. Mm -hmm. So I would say try to get them back, do it. If they can't do it, then that's a different story. But at least, you know, give them the opportunity to finish and then put your data in. Mm -hmm. So does anybody have any like takeaways that you guys realized today um, based off of this? Um, protocol like from um, looking at the students work at was there any like aha moments like oh yeah I should have done this instead of this or what did I see this my facial connection when my facial connection got home I said that was kind of weird mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so I like how we analyze as a team as a group and then seeing across the board what can be fixed especially with this because we all had some of the same issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, great. Well, thank you guys. You guys can get your work back.